McDowell. It was the first thing that we had gotten. We'd applied for tons of grants and fellowships before, and it was like this incredible breakthrough. I have a couple of friends who've done McDowell residencies, and I had heard incredible things about their experiences there. So we were applying as collaborators. It was important for them to understand our dynamic and our process as collaborators. Memories of a Penitent Heart is the film that we're working on. It's a feature-length documentary about my uncle. He died in 1987 when I was six years old. As I was growing up, I would hear these rumors that he had repented of being gay on his deathbed. The project really started in 2008 when my mother found a box of 8mm films and essentially started this sort of archival investigation. McDowell is very good about giving you the space to work in the way that's best for you. We took this archive and we sort of spread it all over our studio and used them as a jumping off point for a scene or part of the story. They really tailor your project to a space. People were really generous with their time. We sort of collaborated in, in little ways with other people. We're currently using some temp music by a composer and several temp voiceover tracks by three other fellows. While we were at McDowell, I got this email from the Sundance Film Festival saying that we had won a grant and we were invited to the 2015 Sundance Film Festival. We didn't jump on the bed, but we, we might as well have. We were sort of in our heads, we were, that's what we were doing. And we've had a major momentum since we left McDowell. We came out of there with so many new ideas and essentially the story of the film. McDowell has an incredible way of, of making you feel valued. McDowell has changed my life made me feel like that there really is a space that is given to artists somewhere in this world that makes you feel legitimate and makes you feel like what you're doing is very important.